I think the winner of All Stars is going to be... Are you a contestant? <laughs> Wait, I need a list. I need a list. Hello, I'm Peppermint from RuPaul's Drag Race. First runner-up, season nine. So now we're in the third season of All Stars, and this season they have made it even more crazy. And they've gotten some really cool queens and some unexpected queens, and already some huge surprises. Bibi Zaharbene coming back as the 10th queen. It's a little controversial because she's already a winner, and she's already won a season, but she's back to compete. And so I think that pisses off some of the queens and also scares the hell out of them. Some of my favorite entrances from season three, All Stars. I love Milk's entrance. She was holding something in her hand. It looked like a Pinocchio nose. And it was kind of a repurposed Pinocchio look, which I thought was pretty cool, like a, a new take on it. So I respect that. Kennedy Davenport. I loved her look. It was probably the most striking of all the looks. <laughs> but no, I'll say, it. her hair, Reminded me of, this is like for New Yorkers. If you've ever seen the parachute jump at Coney Island, it's like this tower with like, it almost like a mushroom thing at the top. But it looked gorgeous. I just, I wanted to climb it and jump off of it. Like it looked really tall. Shangela coming out of a box. We've obviously seen it before, but it was kind of, you know, it was bold. She's into boxes. Trixie Mattel roller skating in. I thought that was cute. I think the winner of All Stars season three is going to be. Mm. Milk, Trixie Mattel, I want to say Asha. Those are my three. Being an All Star is an honor, and being in the Hall of Fame. There's only two girls so far out of 125 girls that have been on TV that are in this Hall of Fame. So it's something that everybody wants, whether they admit it or not. Except for me, I don't want it.